Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome to Let's Play Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. In the last episode, uh, we spoke to first Kevinella and then we spoke to the Pigeon Man or the Professor. And then uh, we saw an awesome, awesome little like group session going on <laughs> as all the misunderstandings uh, misunderstandings were cleared up so now the whole team is going to be working together to stop the uh, the man in red who looks just like Sissel so let's continue on alrighty let's start from this time frame we are in chapter 16 so we are almost done um Pretty exciting. Man, it's already 4.19 a.m. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Well, this is Jout. Why aren't they showing us what's going on over there? That's pretty weird. <laughs> Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Uh oh. What's going on? Why was it Jout who called us and not Lin? Alright, trace complete. So now we have a new number Control Room. <laughs> that looks so weird. Well, you better get going. This long night is drawing to an end. Are you Ray? <laughs> I'm just... I don't know why I thought he was Ray, but... It's a strange... idea. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. No, he can't be Ray, because he's not dead. I don't know, it's just weird. <laughs> the other end of the phone line. I'm finally gonna find all my answers. I better go. <laughs> that animation's so cool. <laughs> A single telephone line connects me and the other Sissel. But that single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. And I'm having trouble talking today for some reason. My mouth's like hurting. So, excuse me if I sound a little strange. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> and I just reached the center of the web. The submarine! Hmm. Looks cool. This game, they were so smart when they created stuff. Whoa, what's going on? It's pitch black. Is this, uh, Jowd? Welcome to the Yanoa. Oh, somebody's talking to Jowd. Detective Jowd. Oh, it's you! My detective sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Jowd. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> I was smacking that thing. Oh. oh. Why isn't he there? Huh. Gab, never thought you'd track us here, especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. And I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, eh? But how did you find us, my man? Not even the police knew where the Yanoa was going to surface, confound it. 
We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. Huh? Wait, what? Yeah, that's when he shot him. What does that have to do with this? Ooh! Oh, you're so smart, Cabanella. I'm impressed. The bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. Yeah, and then he gave him that um, keychain pocket watch thing. Oh, uh, pocket watch, yeah. Hmm. Cabanella has given me some pretty weird presents in the past. But they always prove useful. This one was a radio receiver made to look like a pocket watch. So cool. Like all these spy gadgets. <laughs> hmm, yes. Inspector Cabanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way... Where is that man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? <gasps> oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was turned backward. You! You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. His shell, eh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely, right about now, he's controlling your daughter. No! Camila! Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, just take me. Just please, let her go. Bah. That's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? Huh? What the heck? Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer. The source of his powers. Oh? What? <gasps> oh? That was the meteorite fragment? What? What in the world was that? That Tamsek fragment. It gives spirits special powers. And now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? What a mistake to make, right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. Uh-oh. Where is that little man, though? I'm so confused. <gasps> what? What? Um. <laughs> they just left. How the hell did that room just disappear? What in the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jowd. Where did he go? I I don't know. What the heck is up with this room? What now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. I smell danger. I better find them. And fast. What does danger smell like? <laughs> I'm just curious. Huh? 
Who's this? Is that who I think it is? So you're here, huh? It's Missile! <laughs> Hi, little boy! What you doing here? Yes, I think even I remember who you are by now. And what do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course. I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog. What with my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. Do you think that trusty nose of yours can sniff them out? Um... <laughs> yeah, he's dead. I'm sorry to say I don't think I can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So let's go find that lady detective and the little lady together. You got it! Oh, a phone! The telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camila! I just know it! My trusty nose is practically screaming it at me. I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to that phone before it stops ringing. You bet. How? Oh my. Uh, can't reach. Missiles in the way. Let me swap these since it looks too far. That looks better for Miss uh, for Sissel to get around. Um Missel baby, I need you again. Okay. Wait, no. I just realized what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, swap these. Hold on. Don't stop ringing, phone. I think I can still reach. Yes, okay. I wasn't sure if I could reach, but now I know I can. Oh! It's off the hook! Sweet! I think I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look! That black hello, it came off the hook! Uh, you do know this is red, it's not black. <laughs> That's a mistake there. Uh oh, I'd better answer it fast. Hold on, I'm coming. There we go. It really is Camila, what the hell? <laughs> How did he know? Um, uh, man, I haven't done her voice in ages. I don't know. <laughs> I think I sounded better before. It's her. The little lady. It's Sissel. Where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess she can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh good. I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn. Lynn is. She said Lynn. Oh no. Please tell me I'm wrong. Miss Lynn! You better hurry. Let's go, Sissel! Yeah, let's go. Oh my lord. <sighs> Lynn, why? Why are you dead again? <laughs> I know that was your dead body down there. What? Is this the fifth or sixth time now? I, I I lost count. It's no use. Nobody's answering. Oh my god. Miss... Miss Camilla! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn! 
Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy has happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy! I knew you'd come! Miss Camila! Miss Camila! And Missile too! I'm so glad to see you're alright! Well, I wouldn't say I'm alright exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice! I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm, that's right. Camila has a core now, so that means... She did hear Missile's voice before, when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. Miss Camila, I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. Oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, that's like the cutest thing you could have said. Uh, my little doggy. I'm looking at him. <laughs> I wish he was as cute as you. I mean, physically he's cute, but, you know... Personality's not as cute as Missile's. <laughs> Maybe you need to act more like Missile. Hey, Missile. Could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need my powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it! Thank you, Missile. Aww. Okay. I wonder what happened this time. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I'd better talk to the little lady a little more. And then, I'd better do something about the detective lady. Okay, let's talk to Camila first, then. Can I talk to you a minute? Yes, sissy? Could you tell me what happened to you? Yeah, it's been a long time. That poor girl. <laughs> I felt so bad for her. <laughs> what happened after I last saw you at your old house? Oh, let's see. After that... I think I fell asleep. Nothing else to do in there, huh? I woke up to the sound of an engine. So she was already in the submarine by then, eh? I thought to myself, I have to escape. The next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I was so tired, I couldn't move. And then... Camila! She found her. I was so relieved. I... I don't remember what happened after that. She must have passed out. The poor thing. You've been through so much. You were very brave. I think Lynn's probably been through more than me. You've both been very... Eh, both been brave. <laughs> Okay, so, what's, um, oh, turn, and, actually, I just, hold on, let me save, I just, uh, what we're gonna do, just all the time, uh, we're gonna talk to Lynn, and then we'll, um, <laughs> end the episode. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, Lynn. What the hell? Oh, Sissel, you're here! Lynn, what in the world happened here? I... I don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Chowd? Is he alright? I... I don't know. Huh? 
the room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. After we left the super's office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with that radio transmitter Inspector Kevinella fired into him with the bullet. The man in red took a boat out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jowd and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. And then we sneaked onto the submarine with him when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Jowd and I decided to split up. He would take care of the telephone line, and I would look for Camila. I found Camila hiding here in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. Wow, that's quite an adventure. What happened next? I... I don't know. Huh? There was a flash of white all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. Oh boy, it sounds like it'd be quicker to see for myself. Alright, let's um... Yeah, we'll rewind and then we'll stop. Alright, the S. Yanoa engine room. Camila, are you okay? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, C Camila! Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I just remembered something. <laughs> okay, well, we are gonna continue this in the next episode. This is like, what the heck? Alright, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!